Today we're going to be installing carbon fiber add-on diffusers on a C7 Corvette. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and today we are going to be installing these add-on carbon fiber diffusers on this C7 Corvette. Now these diffusers are a lot more aggressive than the other ones that you've seen me install and the other ones are just typically a few bolts that holds on with two fins on each side. This whole assembly is, um, is actually just one big unit and you have to either take this lower bumper assembly off or you can take just simply take the whole rear bumper off and because we were doing some add-on lighting in here and uh, on the side markers I just chose to pull the bumper off so we're gonna you're gonna be able to see how that is is done on how we did everything from the back side so you're, you're gonna get a bird's eye view of what we did and the way it's done to install it I also, I did not film the actual takeoff of the bumper, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a link up to that in, the, in a card uh, on the top of the screen. When we get to that point, you can go back and look at one of my other videos. I've, I've done so many filming of the taking off and on the bumper, I just didn't want to bore you with that. So um, once you once you get this all figured out and get it dialed in, it's really not that hard. Um, I will say that... Uh, I wished they would have came with a, a uh, template, um, but really after you see what we do, uh, you'll understand how to put them on and it's not going to be that hard. Okay, so anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump into the video now and uh, we'll see you on the other side. Alright guys, so we are under the car right now and John's, this is really going to be a two person job, okay. Uh, John's got the, the diffuser itself here. Um, and what we're going to do is, since we don't have a template, they're not included, um, you've got two screws right here. And this is what we've, we started on the other side actually, and we figured out exactly what we're going to do. But we're going to try to give you now a, a close-up view of what you need to do from start to finish. So um, basically what you're going to have to do, these two bottom uh, eight eight millimeter screws, or seven millimeter screws, I, should, I say, they have to come out. Now, the one on this side is not going to be used anymore. We're just going to only be using this one. Now, there's two screws, there's two holes in the diffuser itself, and you're not going to be using this one, uh, or that one is not going to go into this hole. We'll probably end up being able to use a screw underneath here just to go through the fascia, just to hold it for support, but it's not going into the car itself. Whereas this one here, it's actually going to be reutilizing this one hole. So um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna set that up there and we'll explain what we're doing. So um, we're gonna take that, we're gonna put it right up here like so, and we're gonna put it into this screw hole. Now, carbon fiber is strong, but it, this thing weighs a lot, so you don't want to just let it go. This is why you need two people. Okay, so now at that point, hopefully you can see this, um, you're going to see right here along this way that there is a definite bend right here, a curve on the bumper. It's the same thing on that side also. So what you want to do is you're going to get this right in its happy spot. Both sides will have that exactly and you'll feel that it's right where it needs to be. Okay, so now at this point what we're going to do is we're going to take this one back off and we're going to go back over to the other side where we've already taped it and we'll show you exactly what you need to do on the other side to make sure that you're going to be able to get the proper fit. Okay, so I'm just going to take this one loose here really quick. so we can set that one down we don't want to break it. All right, I'm going to move the camera over now. All right, now we moved over to this side, so we're going to pull these two screws. Now remember, we're not going to use this outboard screw. This inboard screw is structural. It goes through to a support brace, so this one is important, that one is not, and that one's going to be in the way. We'll reutilize this screw. So let's start taking these out real quick. What we wanted to show you with this tape 
is once we put this one structural screw back in and set this up here, it's got to find its happy spot. And you'll know that when you put it up here, you'll find its happy spot. You need to, you're going to need to mark it so it's, that it's straight across. It's not going to be exactly horizontal. It'll have a downward slope just a little bit. But if you find the spot where it fits, which this is where it fits, you can mark it with tape like we've done. And that way, when you bring it down, you're going to need to mark the two holes that are on the inside. And we use the dielectric grease. So when we stick it back against the body, the grease will actually mark where the holes are going to be drilled. So you can see we can drop it just a little, but you don't want to let it go too much. You'll break the where the screw is going through. But, but you can also see what we've done is we've put the tape here in both on the body and on the part, and then we lined it up. So we predetermined it. We put the black, the black um, sharpie on there, so this way we know exactly where it's going to go, and we know that this lines up in its happy spot, like John was saying. But <clears throat> the whole purpose behind this is, is that we need to make sure that we have this aligned, because we have to take this back down now that we know that it's aligned upright, and up inside here on both sides over here. Let me see if I can get the camera over this way. There's a like right in this area over here and right over in this area over here. We'll show you here in just a second. There's two uh, two holes that you're going to need to be able to rivet from the inside of the bumper into this this piece. And <clears throat> so we have to make sure that we get those marked and we're going to mark that with dielectric grease. He's going to put that on the the holes. We'll set this back in place. We'll mark the holes with the with the grease, and then we'll pre-drill a small hole in the bumper on both sides before we take the bumper cover off. Now, some people like to take just the bottom part of this bumper off. I find that it's a little bit harder actually to pull this off than it is to just go ahead and pull the whole bumper off. So we're just going to pull the full bumper. Um, main reason behind that is that we are changing a bunch of lights on this car today so um, we might as well just go ahead and open it up so you guys can see it that way and it's much easier to get up into this part of the bumper so anyway that's what we're going to do we're going to pull this off here i'm going to put the camera back on the tripod so you can see it we're just going to pull this down he's going to put some grease uh, on those spots we'll set it back in place mark them and then that way we know exactly where to drill well, we've got our dielectric grease and these are the two holes that we're going to need that will actually be drilled up here through the bumper so we need to mark them so we're going to use this as a way to mark our holes that we got to drill so now they've got some grease on there what we'll do is put this one bolt back in right here and then we'll align our tape marks and that will ensure that our grease is in the spot where it needs to be to mark our drill holes. That's good enough. Alright, so before you touch the body with this panel, make sure you got all your alignment marks on. And then touch the grease to the bumper. And then pull it back down. And we should have our marks. Pull that bolt out for us. And there you go. You can see where the, the grease is, so we know that's where our drill marks are. Like I said, we're going to drill really small. That way, if we do need to adjust a little bit, we won't be off very, by but just a fraction. So at that point, we can go right here, right here in the dead center of the of the grease. And we're going to drill a little hole. like that. Here. 
Alrighty. So now at this point, guys, we've got we've got our holes pre-drilled, very small, and everything's line gonna line up the way we need it to. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna lower the car down and we're gonna go ahead and uh, pull the bumper off and then that way we can we can go ahead and get those rivets in um, and get it nice and secure. Okay? So uh, we'll be back once we get the once we get the bumper off. I've showed you guys a million times how to take the bumper off. So um, I mean, I can I, I don't know, John. Should we show them how to do that, or should we? Yeah, I don't. I think we'll just we'll just come back to it, and uh, you can watch one of my other videos to see how to take the bumper off. Okay. All right, so we're going to put this diffuser up here. We're going to use a little tapered punch to line our hole up right here. That way we know it's set in place on the lower end. So you can see our two holes that we drilled on the outside of the bumper. They're too small to see through, so we're going to use this little drill and drill them out just a little bit bigger. But it is undersized for the, for the size of bolt. But we want to be able to look through it and make sure that our screw will line up to the the threaded hole. So we'll do that real quick. Okay. Okay, now we can see if our holes line up where they're supposed to be. Look at there. I can see it. Can you see it right there? Let's see if I can get in there. Can I don't you know see if it? Can I can see it. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but I'm hoping so. But it, yeah, you can perfectly right there. perfectly see it. All yeah. Right. So we know we're lined up. So we'll go ahead and put the correct size drill on. And then we'll screw her down. Okay, we got our oversized bit here. We're gonna drill these a little bit bigger. should be able to bolt this right up. Look at that, I see them holes perfectly. Alright. Right. I'm gonna get you a... This is fun to do guys, holding the camera, getting the screws all ready to go. Holding the part. <laughs> Alright, that is one. John, show them the, the length of the screw there. It's probably maybe about an inch long, three quarters no, of an inch, probably. Three right? quarters yeah. at the most. Um, don't go any longer than that, guys. Otherwise, it'll try to protrude through the outside of the of the uh, diffuser. Yeah. You notice we put a washer, even though we had a bigger head on that, that screw, we just put a washer on it just to make darn sure that it would uh, have a little more meat there so it's not going to yeah. tear free. And then. And then what's going to happen here, we're going to go ahead and tighten those up. So originally in the beginning of the video, I think I mentioned that we were going to have to rivet these. Um, after we cleared all of the out of all of the debris out of the holes there was we found that they were already pre-threaded so that um, that was nice to know um, so we didn't have to end up uh, rivet riveting them now if you notice up here where John has got that the dowel in there the metal punch to keep that lined up remember we were talking about this other screw right here that we aren't going to be able to use for the body, but it has another screw. It's right in this area here. We've got another screw that we're just going to go ahead and we're going to screw it to the uh, to the body itself or to the bumper itself. And I'm I'm holding the camera and giving John the the tools. This is a uh, like multitasking. Said, is, yeah, it's definitely a multitasking situation here. Let me see if I can swing back around here and maybe we can get that. So you remember that one screw we were talking about? We're just going to go right through the bumper right there. Okay. So now, when we go to put it all back together, we'll just run the screw back up into where that metal bracket is, and this will be nice and secure. Okay. So that right there is all there is to mounting them, and now 
you'd have you'll just have to put the bumper back on. So we'll be um, we'll come back to you after we get the bumper on, and this way you can see what it looks like. Okay. So guys, hopefully this video was helpful and informative. And when you get ready to put your diffusers on your car, you'll know exactly where to get them. Go to Extreme Online Store, they'll be able to get you set up. Like I said, they've got the carbon flash, they've got carbon fiber, as well as the paint, the ready to paint version. So if you're going to do a custom color or something like that, um, you can get it done that way also. They not only have this, but they have expanded all of their stuff as far as Corvette and Camaro and a lot of other cars actually too. And um, so if you're in need of in just about any cosmetic part for these cars now, they've got them. So go check it out. Um, and uh, these things, I just want to tell you, these fit like a glove. Now, the only thing I wanted to say is that yes, it probably should have had a, a, a template, um, but just make sure you have two people and do everything we did in the video and you'll come out just perfect. So anyway, uh, I think it's a great product. They look great and um, they're, you know, they're, they're very good and solid. And so um, I, think, I think if you're in the market for that, you're going to really like it. So anyway, guys, thank you again for watching. Um, I know it's been a while since I've been doing some videos um, under the circumstances with my daughter, but uh, I'm trying to... Uh, you know, keep things going and get this stuff out to you. So um, I just want to thank you all for watching um, and all the kind words and everything that you guys have sent uh, and donations you've sent for my daughter. Um, but uh, I also want to ask you guys one other thing, and I ask this almost every video, is if you have not already subscribed to this channel, please hit subscribe. I know that you guys are watching, statistics show that you guys are watching the videos, but you're not subscribing. And that helps me a lot with the vendors and all of my sponsorship. So if you can please hit that subscribe button, that would be wonderful. So anyway, guys, enough of that. Just want to thank you guys all for watching again, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one, okay?